Hello everyone and welcome to Computer Tech TV. I am Rick Arter and today I'll be doing an unboxing and quick product overview on the Gigabyte GTX 550 Ti 1GB PCI Express video card. Looking at the outside of the box you can see they have a large picture of uh, what looks to be a mechanical eye as the main uh, feature here on the front of the video card box. They also list uh, a few things about the video card so if you're purchasing this in stores you'll get a good idea what you're in for. Uh, you can see they offer the three year uh, gigabyte warranty. Also it features uh, the two ounce copper PCB which they call the ultra durable VGA. Also features a 10 centimeter cooling fan as well as a copper core cooler. Also lists here that it has an overclocked core. Stock is 900 megahertz standard and this is overclocked to 970 megahertz so that's a pretty good overclock. They also say that it is NVIDIA 3D Vision ready and they have the uh, graphics by NVIDIA authorized uh, little sticker there. Now looking at the back, they have some more information. You can see the big ultra durable VGA 2 ounce copper PCB there. Uh, they also give some specifications on what the benefits of that is. Uh, they also have tier 1 Samsung and Hynix memory chips, Japanese solid capacitors, ferrite chokes with metal chokes, uh, low RDS MOSFETs, and they also have uh, different features here that they list uh, in different languages for anybody who might be picking up this video card. Also says on the right side it is Microsoft DirectX 11 uh, compatible and it features shader model 5.0 support and they give a little picture there of uh, what you can expect and uh, that is about it for the box now let's go ahead and uh, we will open this thing up alright let's open this up and we'll see uh, exactly what all comes with this video card and I'll give you guys a look at what the Gigabyte GTX 550Ti overclocked video card looks like. See here there's just a white box inside of your standard packaging. On the top here you have the user's manual for the GVN 550OC1GI which I guess is what the model number of the video card is. And this just basically goes over um, how to install it, uh, your software, stuff like that and in here is your drivers CD which I would advise depending on when you buy this card to go to the NVIDIA website and download the latest drivers for the best game support. Let's open up here include a dual Molex to 6 pin power adapter however if you are going to buy a video card like this I would hope that you have a power supply that has six pin connectors on it. If not, I would suggest getting one. However, this does work. There is no um, you know, downside to using this. However, it's just added cables in your case. You also have a DVI to VGA connector as well. If you're purchasing a card like this or anything more higher end, I would hope that you have a monitor that's a little bit better than VGA. However, you know, some people stick to older monitors. I mean there are some older VGA monitors that are still good so nothing really wrong with that. And let's take out the... oh, one, one, one more thing we forgot here. This is a HDMI to mini HDMI connector there. And here is the video card itself. Go ahead and remove it from its anti-static packaging. Just give us a good cut here with the scissors. And we can remove this. Now I've always noticed that some people they'll handle these cards and they'll touch all over the PCI Express slot and all over the back of the card. I try to prevent that as much as possible. And you can see here there's your uh, 10 centimeter fan or uh, for us to understand that better it's the 100 millimeter fan and there's the nice cooler there you got a heat sink on the VRMs there's your one six pin power connector there's your fan hookup for the uh, included fan on the cooler and yeah you can see there's just a small little bit of copper there in the middle I'm not sure if you can pick that up on camera and it's just got a 
almost what I would call a Intel stock cooler style heatsink on it with just the fins that come out with just the copper slug that's in the middle. And this cooler does not cool the memory, it just cools the, um, the GPU. There's your PCI Express connector right there. On the back here you have two DVIs and a mini HDMI. And here's the back of the card. Features the blue gigabyte PCB. And on the back there you can see where the memory chips are aligned on the other side. And there is your single SLI connector. You can run two of these cards in two-way SLI. And just a, one more look around the card there. It is nice that they included the cooler for the VRMs and you can see they have the uh, one of the metal chokes right there and all the solid state capacitors so that about wraps it up guys there will be lots more videos on this I'll do a full review coming up with benchmarks and uh, overclocks on this video card I'll show you guys the software and such to show you guys what exactly the clocks are on this video card so I'd like to thank you all for watching you guys have a great day and lots more videos to come